Today, I will show you a couple of simple attack fleet formations. The first fleet formation, is particularly effective when you perform easy attacks, in rallies with other team members, or alone against targets poorly defended. It will help to win the battle quickly, and reduce your troops losses. So, let's jump right to it. I will save this fleet in my army slot 1. I will include only one unit per category, in the front and middle row. Those few units, will keep the enemy troops briefly busy, while my back row will deal damage, and end the attack quickly. Let's go ahead, and select the front row. Only one unit per category. Remember to lock each category, after selecting the unit. Let's jump to mid row. Include one zombie too. And now back row. Here I will first select one shielder, and lock it. Then, I will fill the rest of my fleet with snipers, and cannons. Based on my fleet size, I will include 100,000 snipers. Then fill my remaining fleet allowance, with as many cannons as I can fit. Adjust your snipers, and cannons number, based on your fleet size. And click save. My attack fleet, is now saved in the slot 1. Let's try this fleet. This is a good example, where this fleet will be effective. The target is poorly defended. The battle with be quick. And our losses will be very low. Let's try. I will set up a rally. Select my attack fleet, and send. I will then send an invitation in the alliance chat, for my teammates to join the rally. Let's wait and see if someone joins. Here we go. Three allies joined my rally. Let's skip the rally time. Let's check the battle report, to see my losses in the attack. As you can see, my losses are really low. Let's compare my losses, with that of a player who used a different formation. As you can see, my fleet was very effective in this kind of attack. Let's now have a look at another attack fleet formation, more effective if you are performing a more challenging attack. This target, has a lot more defenders compared to the previous one. And I will attack him alone. The only way to avoid losses in this attack, is to use the commander skill SOS. If you don't have it, you will suffer some losses for sure. However, if you set up a good fleet, you can win the battle with a big amount of kills, and acceptable amount of losses. As I will use the SOS skill in this attack, I will only have wounded. No losses. Let's set up the fleet. I will save this fleet in the army slot 3. We start from the previous formation, and make a couple of adjustments. I'll free up some space, and start with the front row. Based on my fleet size, I will select 4000 shredders, and lock. Make sure you lock all your troops, 
If the lock symbol does not appear, just go up in number, and then down again. The lock will appear. Middle row. And now back row. I will first select one shielder, and lock. I will use 90,000 snipers, and fill the remaining space with cannons. I will also fill my zombies fleet limit. And save. Let's try this formation. I will select the fleet 3. And send. Few seconds before reaching the target, I will activate the SOS skill. Let's have a look at the battle report. One hundred thirty thousand kills, and only eight thousand wounded. Not bad. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video.